you how to decoupage my homemade napkins. Um, I make these myself and I have a tutorial in my playlist that you can go and check out um, to see how I make them. It's a really easy process and you can make any kind of napkins that you want um, and you're not limited what, to what you can find at the store. So I have this old, really old kind of rusty sap bucket and I'm going to decoupage this napkin onto here and I'm going to show you my uh, steps that I do to um, decoupage it with my Mod Podge. And I'm using a Mod Podge mat and you just need a paintbrush, your napkin, Mod Podge, and a surface. And this would work on wood um, and any surface. You can even put it on metal that's not painted, but I find that I like the look of it uh, painted underneath. So this already has a coat of, the, of my homemade chalk paint on it. Um, and I really like that. And it's kind of the rust has come through, so it's made it look really antique. So I'm going to switch the camera around and I'm going to show you a step by step tutorial of how I do this process. Okay, I'm just going to put my camera down here and I'll get all set. So the first thing I like to do is. Um, I don't like putting the whole napkin on all in one piece. I find that that will lead to wrinkles. So I like to cut it into sections and uh, it makes it a little bit easier to decoupage on and be manageable and keep those wrinkles down. So I'm just going to cut this into a bunch of different pieces and it doesn't have to be completely straight. We're going to, you kind of want it kind of ragged so it kind of blends in better when you put the Mod Podge on. And if anybody's interested in this graphic, I have it in my Etsy store, and you can uh, head over there and check it out. And if you're coming from YouTube, I always have uh, code SAVE50, so you can get 50% off of any graphics in my uh, Etsy store if you use that code. So I'll just finish up this last piece here. And come on the bottom. So you don't have so much napkin. And this napkin was originally a piece off of a dollar store napkin. And you know the pieces, the plies that you pull away and we usually throw out? I save them and then I make them into new napkins. And it's really cool. Okay. So, I'm going to mess here. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have this centered where I want it, right about there. And I like using the Mod Podge um, mat. You can use a gloss, it's your preference. I just like the look of the mat better. And uh, that's what I'm gonna use today. So what I like to do is I don't wanna put the Mod Podge on the napkin, I wanna actually put it on my sap bucket. So I'm just gonna put a really thin layer. You don't wanna put it too thick. If you put it too thick, you're gonna introduce wrinkles so I just like a real thin coat and then I'm just going to take this first piece and make sure that it's centered and just slowly put it down and I just like to use my paintbrush and just kind of push it down with my paintbrush. I'm not putting any more Mod Podge on it until I need to, and I need to put a little bit along the edges here. And I'm going to put a little bit along here. And I'm just using my paintbrush to kind of push out any wrinkles or any bubbles that I may have. And that's all there is it uh, to it on that one. So now I'm going to get the next piece, which is mark it, and figure out where I want it, and just put on my Mod Podge again, just really light, a really light coat, not too thick. I got it. I'm notorious for 
rushing and not making sure that things are lined up. So that's, that looks pretty good. It's going to work from the center out and push it down into that Mod Podge. And I'm not really fussy if I do get a few wrinkles because with this being an antique sap bucket, I don't really care if it has a little bit of wrinkles because that just kind of gives it character. Okay. And the next one I'm going to put on is my antiques and junk. This is actually one of my favorite graphics that I've made. I've used it on so many things, on signs, on buckets, on pretty much everything. I'm kind of an antique junkie, vintage junkie. I have to move that over a little bit. Now work from the inside out. And I like how the rust is kind of showing right through the, the napkin. I need a little bit more Mod Podge right here. Now sometimes if you get a little wrinkle or a bubble it helps if you get a little piece of cling wrap and you can kind of put it into a little ball and dab it where the wrinkle is and it'll help smooth it out and, uh, and then your fingers won't stick to the Mod Podge and it's not as mucky. And then I have my very last one. I think this one it's done will look really nice if you put some flowers or put a little plant in it and you can put it at your front door either outside on a covered porch or um, right inside your door as a decor piece. Okay. I made a bunch of these at Christmas time and I put all my Christmas graphics on them and then filled them with pine and some um, branches and they looked really nice. Put a little underneath here. This is always, it's kind of nice doing this live because then you can get a, a feel of exactly how I do it. I find sometimes when you're watching a video, you don't know if they've edited the hard parts out or if they've kind of skipped steps. So this is, is showing you exactly how I do it. Okay, so I think we have it all on. So what I like to do now is just double check, make sure I have everything all covered and I'll just go through and put a little bit of a light coat over everything. And then what I like to do is um, let it completely dry, completely dry. And then I really like this uh, Verithane. This is the uh, Verithane water-based and it's outdoor. So if you put this on this, it would probably stand up pretty good outside in the elements. And this one is a satin finish. So when this is completely dry, I will uh, put a, a coat on the whole thing and then fill it with uh, whatever you want, uh, whatever I uh, want to uh, put into it. Now that spring's coming, I might not put some tulips or some spring flowers in it and put it at my front door. Okay, hope that helped you out. This is actually my first live that I've ever done. So um, I'm kind of new to this, but hopefully it helped you out. And if you have any questions, leave me some down in the comments and um, I can help you out. And thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.